Oh my god. Oh, oh it looks so sick. Oh. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping in filming a couple of videos today for the Q50. First project we are taking on. Finally reupholstering the A pillars on the Q. Put this thing in the driveway so we're a little closer to the workstation. So what we're doing is we're wrapping these A pillars finally in black suede or alcantara fabric it's the most it's the it's the fabric that close most closely resembles a suede material i found it at joanne fabrics i'll put a link in the description below if i can find it i went there and i you know i touched a bunch of them up to feel which one was the closest to suede and it's the fabric that i used for the headliner on the 350c which turned out great although i lost the footage for that and it's got dang oh so mad about that uh, but I can't stand the light colored headliners in these vehicles and I don't know why they did it. So first things first, we're just going to get these pillars done. Another thing is when I take pictures of this car, at certain angles, you can see the pillar through the windshield. My windshield's not tinted because I have I can't see it in the dark anyway. Um, and I don't like that. I don't like this light colored pillar showing up in the picture. So this is going to solve a bunch of stuff for me. Uh, today first thing is you want to make sure your hands are very clean or wear some gloves and use clean tools on these because if you touch the headliner up in any location it's gonna get fingerprints on it trust me it's gonna get fingerprints on it. I really hope these turn out I'm a little bit nervous oh and then we'll use some black plastic and vinyl paint to paint these vents they should probably just pop out maybe not I don't know and they should just pop out with a couple of clips just like on the Z and then you lean them forward and kind of pull back and that section there just kind of pulls out my, just got my finger down in here. Hopefully I didn't ruin the headliner itself all that much. Oh, there. So I just jiggled it a little, a little bit and it did pop this clip. So jiggle it this way because you can, you can see the clip right there. It's actually just catching on this little tether here. So I'm trying to figure out how to either pop this little piece out. Not sure here. So there's got to be an easier way, but that little teller, tether goes in this little slot and I just sort of shoved a screwdriver in there and kind of flipped it out so that's what you're dealing with and then it's just this one clip and like I said it just kind of leans back and pulls out and that's all we're dealing with nice clean place to work so this here is what you're gonna need this nice suede like material here's the details I'm just trying to make sure that I have enough material I should. This should be plenty for both of them. Oh yeah. Plenty of material for both. I'm just gonna cut it down to the size that I need. I think we can get two of them out of this one little chunk. So probably just cut right down this line here, maybe just like this. Which is off a nice sharp blade or sharp scissors that works best for this kind of material. It is pretty stretchy. Uh, this should be more than enough. And always leave yourself a little bit of leeway. We are gonna wrap it around, uh, but you don't wanna wrap a ton of material around because you want everything to fit properly. Uh, and we're kind of just gonna copy what they do. Uh, if you reupholster normally, you could pull this old um, fabric off, but I'm really just not gonna risk it. It'll stick to this fabric uh, the glue will stick to the fabric well enough. Um, so we're just going to go right over top of the old stuff, which keeps it simple for us. Now we got to take the little vent off. This little tab right here. Let's push it down. there everything together now looks like this actually pushes out so sort of pull down and push that out just trying to be gentle but sort of forcing it also <laughs> there we go challenges these little guys 
go. This will, I think I'm just gonna scuff it up a little bit with like 1000 grit sandpaper, just to scuff it up and then clean it up really good with mineral spirits and we'll dust them. So this is the product used for painting plastic uh, trim pieces and things of that nature. It works really good. Again, use this for um, the uh, dome light and sunglasses holder on the uh, 350Z headliner as well. Coats really well. Once it cures, it's pretty durable too. So uh, that's really good. Just prep is key. So. thousand grit sandpaper again I'm just gonna go over it lightly this paint should stick to it pretty good and this already has just a tiny little bit of texture on it so just kind of want to get the corners so it has a little bit of teeth I always paint the back side too because you just you never know. I want to make sure you get all the little crevices. Little middle mineral spirits to clean off the greases from my fingers. I'm trying not to touch it all up now at this point. You gotta spray both surfaces the surface you're sticking it to and then the actual back of the fabric as well. Oh god. The stringy. And you do. I don't know, you just want to make sure it's really covered. And you let it dry and get tacky. Before we get too far into this video guys, I want to remind you, now this hasn't been announced yet, but I'm going to be giving away my personal uh, front LED emblem for the Q50. Now, this is the color changing one. I ran blue, obviously, if you guys have been following along. I love that color, matching my calipers. Uh, it's still in really great condition. This has the carbon fiber background uh, with the gloss black infinity symbol. This is from Holisco's Carbon Fiber if you are interested in purchasing your own. Um, Go check out Holisco's Carbon Fiber on Instagram and his website, holiscoscarbonfiber.com. But this is going to be, this giveaway is going to be announced very, very shortly. We're going to be also be in partnership with Super Clean Products, who's going to give us, give the winner a box of Super Clean cleaning products, which I use to clean wheels. My wife uses to clean the bathroom. That's really good stuff. And I'm working on some other pieces as well. Probably get a Speed Culture t-shirt, of course. Probably some decals, keychains, lots of stuff. It's going to be a good package. Uh, but stick around for that. Make sure you're subscribed right now so you don't miss that announcement video. It's going to be coming up in the next couple of videos. It's going to be the official giveaway video where you actually get signed up to win it. Now, let's get back to reupholstering the pillars. Because it won't stick when it's wet like this. So you do gotta let it dry it a little bit and get tacky. Flip this. I spray the whole thing, but we're really gonna use all this. Grab it, go in. Looks good. Now, just let her sit for a minute or two. Get a little tacky here. So about a minute and a half, two minutes. A little 
little bit extra fabric. of these just to make sure part's all hidden so it doesn't really have to be perfect just kind of want it to be tucked relatively decently looks good I'm gonna spray in here just a little bit I'm gonna slice put a slice in here and fold it over and then that vent is gonna hold the rest in not all the way to the edge stretchy material so you can kind of stretch it to make it do what you want but I'm just making a couple little relief cuts so it'll fold in the places I want it to fold. I don't really want to fold this side around because this is where the the vent clips in and holds itself so I'm just gonna I might just trim all of the excess off of this bottom edge. two light coats. We'll do another maybe three four coats just to make sure we're in all of the little crevices here. Pillars themselves are looking real sharp. Finish cutting everything out. I should let these cure a little bit longer but they look pretty good. Just slide it down into this. It's always a little bit tighter, of course, because you got extra fabric.
kind of popped into place. Fabric is nicely overlapped on the underside, so it shouldn't come out. Same little challenge here. So this is the pin that goes in this little slot. But then you gotta also get this to fit inside of this. So I'm trying to get it on the underside. All right, that one popped in a hell of a lot easier. Okay, I like it. I'm getting excited now, getting excited. I'm so impatient when it comes to stuff like this. I just want it to be done. So waiting for this paint and stuff to dry and this glue to dry, yeah, that was just brutal. Okay, I just ripped that damn thing out of there. It's so annoying to try to get back in. I don't, there's gotta be an easy way to do it, but I'm an idiot and I don't have any patience and it's hot outside, so screw it. So you see these little, tabs here they go in their respective slots that lines your vent hole up so just gonna get them set in there work it down we should be able to jam that little guy right in place there we go look at that clip right up. oh my god oh, oh it looks so sick oh. I love it. Thank God, this is way better. I know it clashes with the headliner itself, but just looking out the car, that's gonna look a hundred times better. So I'm 99% sure that this thing prevents the uh, the pillar, the, the cover, this thing itself. Uh, if the airbags were to blow, it prevents this from just flying off across the car and hitting somebody or whatever. Let's see, maybe I can pull this one off. Oh, just ripped that sucker off too. Sick. Looks so good. Looks so clean. Really unique. I know a lot of people have asked about this. It's something I've thought about for a long time. Just was hesitant to take on the project, but really pumped. Really, really pumped on how this looks. Looks so good. Well, whether we take on the full headliner or not, now that's another story. But I'm glad that these pillars are done and we can check another big project off the list for the Q50. I love that, that you can't see the pillars through the front window. God, this car is dirty, but so nice that you can't see the pillars. Guys, don't forget, color changing LED emblem for the Q50 giveaway is coming up here shortly. Pay attention, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. You don't want to miss that giveaway video. Oof, I can deal with that. That looks so good. Really pumped on how this stuff turns out. Guys, check the links in the description below for the um, vinyl and plastic paint, as well as links to Joanne Fabrics uh, for this suede, this faux suede Alcantara. A fabric that was used, um, as well as the adhesive. I'll have everything in the description below, but if you have any questions, leave them down below as well. I'll get to every single one of them as quickly as I possibly can. This really turned out good. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate the continued support. More stuff coming for the Q50, believe it or not, and more stuff coming for the Z. That's a fun little project. You guys aren't following along on the Z stuff, please do. Please do. It's going to be a good one. Got a lot of stuff coming up for that. Really grateful for some of the opportunities that are coming about because of the Z right now. Super pumped. Hope you guys will follow along. Again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you in the next one.